Hey everyone and welcome back to a new tutorial on the how to make a survival game series. In this video I'm going to be taking a look at how to make a, uh, a, a material dropping system and collecting. So the wood drops will drop and you can collect them and you will gain wood by collecting them. And in the next tutorial we're going to be taking a look at how to uh, make this system a lot safer so that it's a lot harder to exploit. Before this video starts, if you guys want to support me and want to have access to all of my project files that includes the maps, the models, and the scripts, they will all be available on my Patreon in the $10 tier. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is make a dropping system for the wood. So what I'm going to do is just get my wood drop right here, duplicate it, and I'm going to call it wood drop. But it's already named wood drop and what i'm going to do is set its primary part to a random part in it so the f this one and i'm going to call it primary now what i'm going to do is make sure that primary is anchored and can collide false and make sure that the other parts are can collide false and not anchored and now we're going to add a wealth constraint to the primary part and make sure that part zero is set to the primary part and part one is set to the next part now do it again if you have multiple parts and just change part one to the next part. Okay, we don't need this world constraint, we only need one. And what I'm going to do now is add a uh, bool value, bool value, and we're, we are going to call it can collect. You'll see why later, but for now just add it and just to get this wood drop and put it in replicator storage. Now what we need to do is add another folder and it's going to be called... Uh, it's going to be called modules and add another one and call it assets. Now inside of the assets folder, add another folder and call it drops. And I'm going to just uh, take my wood drop and put it inside of the drops. Now we need to add a module script to the modules and we, we are going to call it uh, drops. Okay, what I'm going to do now is... Uh, create references to multiple stuff so the first reference is going to be to replicated storage so replicated storage storage is equal to game colon guest service replicated storage and local uh tween service equals game colon guest service tween service now we need to get uh, the assets so local assets is equal to replicated storage going for child assets and local drops is equal to assets colon wait for child drops now i also added a folder in the workspace called drops and you'll see why we need a uh, reference to the workspace drops so workspace drops is equal to workspace colon wait for child drops and what we're going to do now is just create a function so function module i'm going to zoom in a bit so function module dot collect dot uh, spawn drops and it's going to take the drop itself so drop name and the uh, number of drops that we want to drop so uh, amount so amount of drops i want to drop and then i think that's also going to take the radius within which we want to drop the drop and after uh, actually before the amount we also need to take the origin position okay now what we're going to do is uh, a for loop for i is equal to from 1 to amount do and what we're going to do is uh, local clone local uh, drop clone or local drop is equal to drops square brackets drop name colon clone and what we're going to do is drop dot name dot name is e actually no we don't drop dot parent i think drop dot parent is equal to workspace drops and um drop okay so local position local position or random position is equal to origin position origin position plus vector three dot new and that's just going to be math dot random from minus radius to radius and zero and math dot random minus radius to radius again and that's going to be our random position now we need to drop a line and drop 
cons con pivot to pivot to and that's going to take the so c frame dot new random position multiplied by c frame dot angles zero comma math dot rad uh minus one twenty to one twenty uh comma zero and what I forgot to do is change this to math dot random and add a math dot rad in here. And now everything should work just fine. Now what we need to do is a task dot spawn function. Task dot wait two seconds drop job dot can collect dot value is equal to true. Okay. Now what we need to do is um, run service. We need run service. So local run service equals game can get service run service. So run service. Okay, let me just move my chair. A run service dot uh, render steps can connect function, and uh, what we're gonna do is um, for underscore comma drop comma drop in uh, workspace drops go and get children do uh, local character is equal to player dot character. We need the player, so local player is equal to game dot players dot local player, and player dot character or player dot character added ca character added comma wait and what we're gonna do is if character then uh, if character okay so if character then what we're gonna do um is check if drop if a uh, character dot primary part dot dot position minus drop dot drop dot primary part dot prime primary part dot position uh, dot magnitude and we need some brackets so we'll just add brackets dot magnitude is less than uh, 10 so 10 is the collecting range then what we're gonna do is um, okay so we need to lerp the drop so drop dot primary part dot primary part dot c frame is equal to and character dot primary dot uh, is equal to wait is equal to drop dot primary part dot c frame call lerp and that's going to take character dot primary part dot dot c frame comma 0.1 and what I'm gonna do is repeat task dot wait. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is if drop. Wait, that's not gonna work. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is um okay, so we need a debounce table, so I'm just going to have a table in here called local uh Debounce, debounces is equal to an empty table, and what I'm gonna do is check if character, just just copy this, and just check if it's less than like I don't know like two studs. Then what we're gonna do is if not db debounces square brackets v uh, square brackets drop sorry, then debounces square brackets drop equals true and what we're gonna do is just collect the drop so if so uh remote replicator storage dot remote dot and we'll add a remote event called collect drop so remote dot collect drop dot uh confire confire server and that's going to take the drop name so drop dot name and task dot wait three and t bounces Square brackets drop is equal to nil. And what we need to do now is just uh, the column destroy. So uh, after that, we can just destroy v. So v column destroy. Okay, so I'm going to try this out, but we need to enter our wrong client script and We'll add, okay, so I'm just going to do this. Okay, so 
a local uh, drop module is equal to require replicator storage come with child asset uh come with your child uh, modules come with your child drops and what i'm gonna do is just set the damage to 50 so that it drops fast and what we're gonna do is drops module dot drop drop module dot spawn drops and that's going to take the wood drop so wood drop comma origin position will be tree dot primary part dot c dot position dot position and then the amount which is going to be six or five and then the radius which is going to be 10. uh maybe a ra radius of um seven now i'm going to play the game and see if this, this is going to work Okay, so I'm going to hit the tree, and they did drop, but I was able to collect them very fast, and we probably have a ton of errors. So, what we need to do is change this to drop, on destroy, and then we need to up this weight. Actually, no, we need to check, okay, and uh, the, and the uh, drop, drop dot can collect, can collect, value is equal equals true okay play the game now and see if this is gonna work okay so we need to hit the tree twice so one two and i'm going to go away and as you see it did drop the wood now if i get close to the wood i can collect it and now we need to uh okay so we have a problem attempt index in with position okay so we need to check and drop and drop dot parent is not equal to nil and now if we play the game then this should work without any bugs hopefully not really sure so hit the tree run away collect the drops no errors great okay so now we need to actually uh get the wood that we just collected so what i'm going to do is in, inside of the player data we will have the materials we're going to have wood so what i'm going to do is in the main service script remotes dot uh collect drop dot on client on server event call connect function and that's going to take the player and uh, also the drop name and i'm going to have a uh int value end value inside of here and i'm going to set it inside of the wood drop I'm going to have it as um no it should sorry it should be a uh, string value and it should be drops and this should be wood okay so uh player okay so local uh, drop is equal to uh, replicated storage dot access dot drops qualify for child drop name and what i'm gonna do is if drop then uh player dot uh material dot uh what is it called okay so it's called materials dot wood dot wood dot value plus equal to one and actually no this should be materials uh square brackets and it should be drop dot drops value and this should work so we should be able to collect wood some materials wood and if i go ahead and break this one two and collect it plus one wood okay so i got plus one wood okay so in the next tutorial we'll be uh, making this a lot more secure uh, so that explorers can just exploit this and yeah that's going to be it for today's tutorial if this helped make sure to subscribe like the video share it with your friends and i'll see you all in the next video bye